So tonight is about some of the unsung heroes, the names that might not trip off the viewer's lips, but we understand the brilliance they contribute. And no one fits that description better than vision mixer extraordinaire Hilary Briegel. She's tonight's special award recipient. Having produced a lot of live studio and OB programmes in my time, I can't tell you the joy and the relief that I experienced to walk into the gallery and see Hilary there. Her skill, her professionalism, her swan-like calmness, when no one knew quite what was going on or what was going to happen next, I really owe her a lot. She radiates confidence and she goes way beyond the job description. She'd even read my palm between programmes and tell me my future. She's a one-off in every way. Let's welcome Hilary Briegel to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, members of BAFTA, good evening. Well, may I start by thanking Claire Brown for that most wonderful highlights package, and Jonathan Haswell, Claire Popperwell, Martin Hopkins OBE, Peter Monpergo, and Mandy Flat Fletcher for their wonderful memories and thoughts. Also, many thanks to Andrew Newman, Chair of BAFTA's Television Committee for his commendation, and Anne, Anne, for presenting my award tonight. Now, back in November last year, Richard Bowden, out of the blue, emailed me saying he wanted to su suggest vision mixers for the Craft Awards list, and that it mightn't come to anything, but could I send my CV? Well, after looking through 35 years of diaries, I pinged it off into the ether and thought nothing more about it. Then in January, Richard texts me, asking for my address, saying he had an article which might be of interest to me. Well, I assumed this would be about sitcoms. So when, a few days later, I read the letter from BAFTA, I nearly fell off my chair. I was absolutely stunned, but also exceedingly honored and humbled to think that my work had been acknowledged by this special award. So, many thanks indeed to Richard for nominating me, to the BAFTA committee for, for accepting his suggestion, and for recognizing the work of Vision Mixers. And finally, my heartfelt thanks to our darling sons, David, who lives in Australia with his fiancée, and Richard. Now, they surprised me by organizing for David to return home so I'm delighted to say that both David and Richard are here tonight. They have been extremely supportive to them, to me, and I love them very dearly. Well, BAFTA, thank you so very much. Being a vision mixer is a most fantastic career, and I cannot begin to describe how passionate I have been and still am about sitting at the cutting edge, watching, listening, and following as the program, concert, or event develops. I feel, therefore, exceptionally privileged, honored, thrilled, excited, and proud to be this year's recipient of the special award. Many thanks indeed. Congratulations. Well, thank you so, so much. I mean, you know, for a vision mixer to be honored in this way is... It's amazing. Well, it is unheard of, absolutely unheard of, actually. How did it feel? Because obviously you're watching all of your peers talk about you in that video. 
I felt lots of love, warmth, um, incredible what they said. I, I don't analyse what I do, I just do it, you know. I know I like to see the, um, the effort of somebody hitting a timpani or hitting drums or the beginning of a, la a violin shot, you know. It's no good coming in when they're playing the note. You've got to have the action of how they're making that note. And working with, if you watch the way that Simon Rattle conducts, he gets his orchestras to put so much energy and that energy comes through in the sound of the music. You have got an incredible body of work. Are there particular moments that stand out? The Royal Wedding, I did practice the, um, the exchange of rings. I practiced it at home and in bed at night I was going through it in my mind. Um, but you know, I love everything. Do they require you to think in different ways? And put they do. They, they, I, I don't know what it is. With music, you're thinking about the phrasing. Um, with sport, you don't want to miss anything. So you have to concentrate the whole time. And almost preempt what they're about. The, uh, yes. And in fact, you get in tune. I get in tune with presenters or artists. And so what is coming up next for you? The election. I'm just sort of... Um, watching the election type programs and getting my head around knowing who, who MPs are and all that sort of thing. Well, good luck with that and congratulations thank you. Oh, thank on you. your special award. Thank you. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Still can't quite believe it.